Photoshop gives you the ability to edit and create vector graphics within its raster-based environment. To find the vector tools, look at the very bottom of your toolbox. You've got your pen tool and your drawing tool, your type tool, your path selection tools. These are different from your regular selection in that you can only select vector graphics with these two tools. And you also have some predefined shapes that you can uh, quickly use and create within the work environment. Now, if you want to know more in depth about drawing and using these tools, I would actually recommend watching my Illustrator videos. I'm going to use these predefined shapes to demonstrate the rest of the vector graphic options. Once you've got the tools selected, make sure your paths palette is open. This path palette will give you the ability to select the vector graphics that you create and also be aware of what layer you're working on. Let's turn our attention to the very top left hand corner because there's three different means of creating vector graphics. First of all you can create shapes, regular paths, and pixels. Let me show you pixels first. With pixels selected and I'm working on a blank layer one, whenever I click and drag it'll show me what my vector shape will look like and when I let go of my mouse it'll fill in that area with just solid pixels. This means I can't really edit it, it just gives me the ability to move it around as if it was a normal object. I'm going to undo this. The second option, instead of pixels, is paths. Paths gives me the ability, when I click and drag, to create a vector outline of whatever I have. Now it won't fill in anything, instead it gives me a working path that I can work from. Some of the things you can do with this, if you look at the bottom of your pass palette, is to fill it in with this first icon, with whatever your fill color is, if I undo it, or to give an outline based on whatever brush that you have chosen. If I click on this, you can see I've got a small brush, and when I deselect it, I've got a little brushed outline. Let's choose a thicker brush so I can show you what it looks like. I'm going to choose a brush, and that's pretty big. Let's make it a little bit smaller turn the hardness up. So with this brush selected, now when I go to my working path and click on the brush outline, you can see it will follow that brush around. To move this path around, I'm going to use my path selection tool down at the bottom, and I can click on it and drag it to another area. So really this is kind of like working with a template, filling in and using those wherever I need it. Some of the other things you can do are create vector masks, or excuse me, layer masks based on the vector that you created, or you can actually load it up as a selection and turns it into a marquee. I'll deselect that. Let's get rid of this and create a new blank layer to work from. The final type of layer that you can create is a shape path layer. With this shape, it gives you the ability to choose your fill, color, and type, and also a stroke and some other formatting with this. So pay attention to the extra options here at the top. Now when I click and drag, just as before, it gives me a shape path that I can work with. And notice that it adds on to the path that I've created. But with this one, I can select the path and change it up at will. So if I don't like that color, I can choose another color for the outline. I can make that be a gradient. And I can fill in the color to be something different. So it's a lot like working in Adobe Illustrator. Additionally, I can move it around or I can use my direct selection tool to change up the individual points on the path for it to be another shape by itself. There's a lot more that you can do with the vector pass. This is just the basics for working with it. Again, if you want to know the, how to better work within vectors, I highly recommend watching the uh, videos on using Adobe Illustrator because that's a better working environment for creating vector graphics.